Hello and welcome. This video will cover a hydrostatic force experiment. The objective of this experiment is to measure the hydrostatic force on a vertical surface submerged with water, which is in this case is going to be this surface in here of this submerged dam. This is the experiment apparatus, which is a submerged dam, which supports you with this cross beam in here and freely moving on both sides. We will need some weight hanger, weights, in this case these big weights are 100 grams, small one is 50, and we got 20 and 10 grams for a certain experiments. We got a measuring tape to measure any distance you might think it's required for uh, your lab report, and we will need to have some water which we are going to fold the container in there. This hose should be uh, connected to a drain or to a container to collect a drain. Now we will start with the experiment. Before taking any measurements, we will need to perform the following. The knife is supported the right way here and this is moving free. We will add the hanger alone which is 50 grams before adding any water. We'll need to adjust the weight here, the counterweight, till this beam is floating or start to move. Now, if you can see, now it start to move and it's about getting to the right position. Here we got three lines. We need always to take measurements again as the center one which means that is going to be straight like that. So we'll just give it like half turn here and we should be there. Okay, here we go. So 50 gram, which is the hunger alone on this side and this position is set. We'll need next to do is closing this valve here to make sure whatever water we are adding is not going to be drained. Then we'll start adding water slowly till we can see a movement on the cross beam to the outside and this will happen when a fluid start to submerge that vertical diamond. Okay, which is here now. Now we can see this is, is touching the upper uh, side in there. Now we can start with taking readings. Measurement readings during this experiment are just two measurements, which is the weight added, which all the reading steps will be based on the weight we add in this hunger, and the height which we will read it on the ruler in there. Now we start normally with 50 grams and do steps of 50 grams each. In certain tests, you might be requested to add 10 grams or 20 grams. So the small one is 50 gram here. I'm going to add it to the hanger and this is going to load. Uh, this is going to load it from this side, which you can see is going down now. Now we'll start adding more water till this gets balanced again. Now you can do this in two different ways. Either keep adding water till this gets up, or you can add extra water and a little bit overfill it, and then something like that. Now you can see it's overfull and it's touching this uh, limits here. So what we can do now, we can drain a little bit of water using this valve here, while keeping hands on the valve, we slowly drain a little bit till this gets down, which is happening just now. So now we can see that beam edge is almost at the center line. This is a good time to get readings. Normally we give it a few seconds for the water level to settle, then we record the water level. Water level height, we get it always from the ruler which is sticked on this submerged uh, object. Now this normally starts from 40 or 4 centimeter, 40 millimeter or 4 centimeter. 
this is starting from this lower edge of the submerged object. Okay, so this four centimeter is not starting from the bottom of the tank, not starting from the table, it's starting from the beginning of the object. So now we are done with a single reading. We have the weight, which is 50 gram, and we have the height. Now we'll need another to add. We'll need to add another 50 grams. We have only 150 grams, so basically we'll remove this one and add one piece of 100 gram. Total weight will be 100 gram, which is our second step. First step 50 gram. Second step is 100 gram. We don't need to take the weight of the hunger in consideration at this stage because weight of hunger was balanced with this counterweight before we start with the experiment. Again, now we are going to add water slowly. So the level is adjusted. So if we keep adding water slowly, we can stop at the moment which it reaches to the middle, something like that. So in this case, we don't need to drain any of the water. So this is the other way of doing that. Sometimes to save more time, you can just overflow it a little bit, then drain it. That will be a bit quicker to perform and then will give more time for the water to study in. So now we have 100 grams. This is our second reading and we'll take the height from the ruler down there of the water level. And so on. So we'll keep adding of 50 grams steps. Now we have total of 150. We'll add more water and so on. Now how many steps this information will be given to you during your lab? Normally we, we do 5 to 6 steps of 50 grams. So we keep adding the 50, removing it and replace it with 100 and so on. So this is basically the experiment today. Uh, it's a simple straightforward experiment and you should have no issues ex uh, performing it. So I hope you learned something from this video and I will cover quickly the safety aspects related to this experiment. Main I two items here is this experiment is dealing with weights and weight hanger. These can fall easily so safety shoes is required and safety shoes is required anyway to enter mechanical lab. The other thing is this apparatus is just simply supported by this table and it can be really you know, taken anywhere else. Uh, so you should be careful of moving it, moving the table all together as apparatus might fall down. Water, water is normally clean. We fill the apparatus before you come and we drain it as you go. And sometimes as I have done in here, you will get your own water and fill it in there. So it's normally fresh, clean water. However, if you feel not comfortable dealing with water or getting your hands wet, you can always ask us uh, to provide you with rubber gloves. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.